I did about 165 virtual shows during the pandemic. So although there's nothing like being in the same space together, there's an electricity there that you can't put words to, I still had the engagement and seeing people's faces unmasked for those many different events, festivals, and shows that I did virtually from my house in Atlanta, Georgia. But uh, I, I have to say, there is a different kind of momentum and energy when you're in a space with people in person. I'm very much an in-person kind of person, so I think it's, it's really, really powerful to be back in spaces again. And it's definitely very powerful for my writing process, I will say. Dubai makes uh, my heart swoon. I love this city. The people here are so kind. I felt from the first time I came here in 2018, this is my third time here, I've always felt very embraced by um, the people that I've encountered in Dubai. So um, I don't know, I can't, I can't speak highly enough about the entire team from the Emirates Airline Festival of Literature and the audiences that I've encountered here. The, you know, the audience members ask thoughtful questions. They're smart, they're passionate, they're kind, they're receptive, they're open. You know, we performed last night an original piece for Desert Stanzas in collaboration with Dr. Afratich and Brent Shuttleworth. And to look at an audience of a couple hundred people and see them weeping over a piece that we made that was a gift for them, I think tells, tells me everything that I need to know about the generosity and the presentness of the people that I encounter here. And that it really is something special. As somebody who's done international festivals all over the world, and, you know, Indonesia, and Australia and Spain and Germany and Palestine. Um, I don't mean this in any way to say anything about any other festivals, but I've never gone to another festival like this one. It sets the bar very high.